Exercise 1. Make generalizations. How does the number of light bulbs in a series circuit affect the amount of current flowing through the circuit? By referring to the adjacent documents, fill in the table below, then answer the above question. We can see aside a document in which a battery is connected to a light bulb and an emitter is connected in series in order to measure the current flowing through the circuit. We can see that the emitter indicates 0.9 ampere as you can see here and the light bulb is glowing brightly. So when the number of light bulbs connected in the circuit is 1, 0.9 ampere current flows through the circuit. Now when two light bulbs are connected to the same battery, the emitter indicates 0.5 ampere and we notice that the light bulbs are glowing less brightly than the first case, than the light bulb glowing in the first case. So when two light bulbs are connected, the current decreases into 0.45 ampere. Then when three light bulbs are connected in series to the same battery again, the emitter connected in series to the circuit indicates a lower value, which is 0.3 ampere. And we notice that the light bulbs are even glowing less and less brightly than the first two cases. So how does the number of light bulbs in a series circuit affect the amount of current flowing through the circuit? We can make a generalization here. As the number of light bulbs increases in a series circuit, the amount of current decreases. Develop hypothesis. Based on the generalization made in exercise 1, do you think there is a limit to the number of light bulbs that can be lit by a circuit powered by a certain D-cell battery? Explain. We've just concluded that as the number of light bulbs decreases, less and less current is going to flow through the circuit. So this means that if we keep on adding more and more light bulbs, we will reach a point in which the current flowing through the circuit decreases until it reaches zero. So we say that yes, there is limit to the number of light bulbs that can be lit by a circuit powered by these cell battery. The intensity of the current or the amount of current, amount of charge flowing through the circuit, decreases with each bulb added. So that at some point the circuit will have so many bulbs that no current will flow. Exercise 3. Review and reinforce. No current flows through the wires in figure 1 because here we have an open circuit. So, however, upon connecting the wires to the terminals of a battery, high intensity current or much current flows through the circuit causing fire. What causes electric current in the circuit when the wires are connected to the terminals of the battery? And what is the voltage source and what is the conductor in the circuit? Finally, what are two changes that could be done to the wires to increase the resistance in the electric circuit? So concerning what causes electric current, here we have no current flowing through the circuit. However, when we have a closed circuit uh, in which the wires are connected across the terminals of the battery, what causes the flow of current represented by, a re by red arrows is the voltage across the battery, the energy provided by the uh, battery. So now what's the voltage source and what's the conductor in this circuit? The voltage source is the battery and the wire is the conductor. What are two changes that could be done to the wires to increase the resistance in the electric circuit? We can either increase the diameter or the length of the wires. So we can either choose a wider wire in order to connect the terminals of the battery or add more and more uh, wires in order to make it longer. For the, in order to make the pathway of the current longer so that the resistance decreases. Here I would like, you, I would like to show you how, how increasing the length of uh, the wire affects the amount of current flowing through the circuit. Now, as you can see in this simulation, we connected the battery emitter in series and the current or the, the, the electrons are really flow, uh, flow, uh, flowing so fast or the uh, electric current is really flowing so fast because the voltage is so high and the resistance of the wires is so low so this may cause fire. 
Now, the objective here is to show you upon increasing the length of the wires, the current decreases. So, let's check it here. If the current, oh, sorry, the current, uh, yes, decreases because the resistance increases upon increasing the length. So, as you can see, upon increasing the length of the wires, the current decreased. Upon increasing them, it decreases, increasing the length more and more. See, the current is decreasing. The current is decreasing as we extend, as we extend the wires and make them longer. The resistance increases, and thus the current decreases. 